Let's now take a closer look at the International Civil Aviation Organization itself. As we said at the beginning in an earlier lesson, the ICAO, created by the Chicago Convention, is an intergovernmental organization which has become a special agency related closely to the United Nations. Based in Montreal, it provides the machinery to achieve standardization between contracting states for all technical, economic and legal aspects of international aviation. The aims and objectives of the ICAO are to develop the principles and techniques of international air navigation and to foster the planning and development of international air transportation so as to ensure the safe and orderly growth of international civil aviation throughout the globe, encourage the arts of aircraft design and operation, encourage the development of airways, airports and air navigation facilities, meet the need for safe, regular, efficient and economical air transport, prevent waste caused by unnecessary competition, ensure the rights of contracting states are fully respected, avoid discrimination between contracting states, promote safety of flight in international airspace, and generally promote all aspects of international civil aviation. The Assembly is the complete and sovereign body of the ICAO. It meets at least every three years and is convened by the Council. Each contracting state is entitled to one vote, and decisions are made by majority vote. Its major tasks include setting the policies for ICAO, as well as electing the members of its working group, the Council. The Council is the permanent body of the organisation and is responsible to the Assembly. It is composed of 33 members of the contracting states, selected by the Assembly for a three-year term. The Council is the governing body of the ICAO. Standing commissions and committees are composed of members appointed by the Council through nominations from contracting states or elected by Council members. These various commissions are the Air Navigation Commission, the Air Transport Commission, the Legal Commission, the Commission on Joint Support of Air Navigation Services, the Personnel Committee, the Finance Committee, and the Committee on Unlawful Interference. The ICAO Secretariat is divided into sections, each corresponding to a committee with the role of supplying technical and administrative aid to the Council. It is headed by a Secretary-General, who is appointed by the Council, and is divided into five main divisions. The Air Navigation Bureau, the Air Transport Bureau, the Technical Cooperation Bureau, the Legal Bureau, and the Bureau of Administration and Services. The ICAO maintains seven regional offices, and they are located in Bangkok, Cairo, Dakar, Lima, Mexico City, Nairobi, and Paris. Each regional office is accredited with looking after a group of accredited states, which make up nine regions, and they are responsible for maintaining, encouraging, assisting, expediting, and following up the implementation of air navigation plans. These nine regions are the Africa Indian Ocean, AFI region, the Asia, ASIA region, the Caribbean, CAR region, the European, EUR region, the Middle East, MID region, the North American, NAM region, the North Atlantic, NAT region, the Pacific, PAC region, and the South American, SAM region. The need for regional structure has increasingly become apparent to facilitate the planning of facilities and services the formulation of supplementary procedures to support increases in air traffic density, the creation of new air routes, and the introduction of new types of aircraft.
regional air navigation meetings are organised periodically to consider the requirements of air operations within specific geographical areas. The idea is to enable integrated and efficient systems across the geographical area and contribute to the global plan. Financial assistance is provided to assist states in specific circumstances. These might be to provide for necessary facilities to be constructed in a country that would ordinarily incur disproportionate expenditure to the gross national product of that state. Such facilities could be navigational aids, instrument approaches and so on.